Good afternoon. My name is Judd Fisher, and I'm the President and Chief Operating Officer of Ball Brothers Foundation. And I'm just here to give an update on Ball Brothers Foundation's operations during this crisis. The health and safety of my staff is uh, most imperative, as well as their families. And so we made the decision over a week ago to go remote. During this time, we will continue to operate as normally as we can. Our round one grant process is still continuing on track. During the COVID-19 crisis, Ball Brothers Foundation has jumped in to specifically try and combat the coronavirus. We have a special program called our Rapid Grants program, which has grants up to $5,000. The Rapid Grants program is an expedited way of getting grant dollars paid out to nonprofits in our community in Muncie and Delaware County. Our COVID-19 response so far is that we have done three requests for proposals, three different waves out to our community nonprofits. We have done this to 20 different organizations. We have had eight of them apply so far and we have cut eight checks to these organizations. We are looking at organizations that have immediacy of need right now as frontline personnel are battling COVID-19. We are doing these RFPs to human services organizations and emergency management organizations. Two examples. One would be the Delaware County Sheriff's Department, which needs personal protection equipment for its deputies. Another example is the Boys and Girls Club, so they can operate at a bare bones minimum during this crisis to still try and serve this community as best they can. So I get asked a lot about what, what can I do? What can you do? What can we do as people within this community, as individuals and other organizations? Well, there are many needs. But I have a couple specific things that I can share with you because I, I really don't know everything that can be done, but I do know that the Red Cross needs your help now. They need cash, of course. Donations of cash would be very helpful. But another thing that they need and that is very, very important is blood donation. Their supply is low and the demand is rising. The Red Cross is obviously work worried about their workers. And we as donors worry about social distancing and putting ourselves in the midst of other people. However, the lack of blood supply will escalate mortality rates throughout this country. Governor Holcomb has stated that giving, giving is imperative and encourages Hoosiers to get out and safely donate. If you are healthy, please consider donating soon. Also, the Red Cross is trying to help with maintaining social distancing without total isolation. They're working on tools for you to use to remain mentally healthy during isolation. One example is that the Indiana Red Cross is working with the Family and Social Services Administration on a psychological first aid program along, Ball State, along with Ball State University professor, Dr. Sharon Bowman. Another thing that you can do is get outdoors and exercise. Of course, using caution and social distancing. There are many trails in this community and throughout Indiana. In Muncie and Delaware County, we have the Cardinal Greenway that actually set, stretches 62 miles through several counties. We also have the White River Greenway that winds through Muncie along the White River. Muncie also has city parks and there are nearby state parks. We have beautiful trails around Prairie Creek Reservoir. You can also utilize Red Tail Land Conservancy's properties when appropriate. Please check their websites for updates to make sure that all these places are open. For now, they remain open, and experts are encouraging people to get outside. Please continue to social distance when you're outside exercising, walking, and just taking time to be in the great outdoors. To finish, I just want to say that it's an honor to be a Hoosier and a Monsonian during this crisis. I'm proud of the way people are bonding together at every level of society. The Ball family has always made its best efforts to help and support in good times and bad, and Ball Brothers Foundation will continue to do that during this pandemic. Thank you.